are you repeating this false claim that Republicans voted to reduce the number of Border Patrol agents, even though the Washington Post gave the administration three Pinocchios for that? So we don't believe it's a false claim. Uh, our statements were very direct here. Uh, last year, House GOP voted, uh, voted, and not only did they vote for it, but they touted. They touted their Limit Save Grow Act. That's the so act. Well, let me, that. And they, they vowed they, that it would they never limit, affect they, Border Patrol. They, they voted for and touted it, right? This is an act. And this would have forced the elimination of 2,000 border patrol agents. That's what this act that they touted, that they voted for uh, in the House. Uh, so that was their proposal, and yeah. and that was so what they, they clearly, voted for back in, in May. They, they clearly stated at that time that border patrol um, also, veterans' benefits and entitlements would never be impacted by any of the reductions. The, and also, the bill never had any appropriations in it. So this claim that you guys are rolling out, yeah. you know, it, it, it's the White House applying White House math to a bill that never had any appropriations. And moreover, the administration or the uh, members in Congress who, you know, put this together vowed that it wouldn't affect these things. So the reason I, I ask is because it's just, you know, to... to voters, don't you think they know the difference between, you know, what is a, a truthful statement and what is spin? And is it in, insulting to them at all to keep saying it when it was, it's just not true? <laughs> One thing that the president does not do is insult, vote, insult voters uh, or American people, to be more exact, because I want to be careful about um, about this, uh, uh, what I can say uh, about this upcoming election. What I will say is, if you look at the bill, this act that they touted, that they voted for, House Republicans back in May, uh, they were. It was very clear that it would have forced. It would have forced the em em elimination of two thousand border patrol agents. That's what that act would have done. We were very direct about that. We were very clear about that. This is what they touted. This is what they put out there. This is what House Republicans voted for. I mean, that's where they are. They have gotten in the way every time we are trying to deal with the border. House Republicans have gotten in the way. So we appreciate the bipartisan conversation that we're having with Republicans. So I forget with Republicans in the Senate. That's why it's bipartisan and Democrats on dealing with the border. The border. House Republicans get in the way. They wanted to literally eliminate 2,000 Border Patrol agents in this particular act that they touted, that they voted for back in May. Notwithstanding all of the fact checks on that, um, if you're saying that you know the White House, the president doesn't want to you know insult the American people, will the administration then amend its separate statement um, that? imply that Texas officials were responsible for the deaths of three <clears throat> migrants um, when, in fact, they had nothing to do with it. They had already been dead for an hour by the time Mexico told uh, anyone in the U.S. about it. And the administration admitted as much in their court filing. They, they acknowledged that in their court filing, but the statement from the White House implies that Texas was responsible and a number of outlets were forced to issue corrections and editor's notes because of that White House statement. So will the White House amend that statement? So let's be sensitive here. Three people died, three migrants died, two children and a woman. That was devastating. Devastating situation, heartbreaking situation. So let's be really mindful of what we're talking about here. I wanna take a step back and, uh, and um, just as you're talking about our statement, uh, look, as I, as I mentioned, a woman and two children died. They drowned near Eagle Pass, which is, as I said, devastating. And that Texas officials blocked Border Patrol from access, accessing the area. That's what was happening at that time. Uh, our statement is consistent with DOJ's filing. As the DOJ filing said, there was an ongoing emergency situation that Border Patrol was blocked from accessing. There were other migrants in the in the water as well. The but I'm just saying there was, was separate. There was an ongoing. This, the White House statement implies it says the White House statement says that Texas officials blocked U.S. Border Patrol from attempting to provide emergency assistance. To there were other there were other migrants in the water. Then why as wasn't well. that included in the there statement? There were other migrants in the water. That, that, that that's what you were our, referring to. Our statement is this is very very much consistent with DOJ filing. Anything else specific you want to know about that? I would certainly refer you to DOJ.